Hey, I'm Jeff. And I'm Phil, and we're the Cocktail Dudes. Today we're making the Elderflower Julep. Delightful, flowery cocktail. Mm -hmm. One of our variations on the regular mint julep. Right. Right? Yeah, this one is uh, a lot like the ginger julep we make. Mm -hmm. But instead of using a ginger liqueur, we use elderflower liqueur. Yes. So. The Saint Germain elderflower liqueur is fantastic. I like how you said that. <laughs> Fantastic? No. German. Well, it's... <laughs> they harvest these things in the Swiss Alps. Okay. In the little Swiss, they speak about every language. Right. So I was just like, kind of breaking into my native German there. <laughs> or is that French? I don't know. I don't know either. Saint Germain. <laughs> but, yeah, um, elderflowers are like lilacs. Kind mm -hmm. of white, bushy flowers. These old guys on bicycles go and pick these flowers to supplement their retirement, I guess, <laughs> and make it into this nice, delicate, flowery liqueur. Mm -hmm. And this is, the ladies love this drink. I mean, it's not bad. I'll drink it too. Right. I'm not saying right. that. That's not a sissy drink. <laughs> but it's, um, it really adds a nice depth to the bourbon. Mm -hmm. Right? Right. All right, so you need bourbon. We're using mixtures here. The elderflower liqueur, some mint simple syrup. We like using that. It's not hard to make. We have uh, we have a recipe page that you can pull up to, to get that from. Yeah. So, but it's really easy to make. It makes life so much easier yes. for this recipe. If you're using the other variations, yeah. or just in general, if you want to brush your teeth with it. And if you're having a party, I mean, it's, the easy thing to do is to have all the different varieties. You can yeah. have the we have a rhubarb julep, we have an elderflower julep, we have a ginger julep. We've got the uh, original. Jerry Thomas is original. Mint, yeah, mint julep. Then there's the mint julep that we like the most. And so you got all these different variations. And if you're having a party, it's fun to have all those different ones. And people can try different ones. But you don't want to sit there and stir in the sugar every single time. Right. So, But if you want to make one for yourself at home, tablespoon of sugar, dissolve that in, muddle some mint in, and you're good to go. Yeah. So, And we add some lemon bitters to this, too, just because that adds a little bit to the depth. Right. There's a little middle tone there that needs a little zing, mm -hmm. and that gives us the zing. That's a good way to put it, yeah. the zing. I know. All right, <laughs> let's begin. Yep, let's make it. We don't need any shakers. Right. We don't need to stir it. All this gets poured right into your julep glass. Right, and you don't need to have a julep glass. We have a, actually a silver-plated one here, yeah. which is pretty I'm, nice. I'm going to frisk you when you leave <laughs> to make sure you don't steal it. That'll mysteriously disappear. If you don't have a, a, a julep, uh, then you can just go ahead and use a double old-fashioned glass. Yep. So, but they are they do make cheaper ones that are uh, nickel plated. Mm -hmm. So yeah, mm -hmm. this is the twelve ounce yeah. one we get from CocktailKingdom.com. Very nice glass, cup actually. You can serve this in a white wine glass, also right. very pretty drink. Okay, three quarters of an ounce of the elderflower liqueur. Thank you. We keep that in our freezer, so it stays nice and cold. Much to the annoyance of Jackie, who tries to put a pour one little chicken breast in there and she can't because it's right. full of booze. Of course, you don't need to eat, right? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> plenty of calories, not all. <laughs> right. Three quarters of an ounce of the mint simple syrup. There you go. One cup water, one cup sugar. Boil it, dissolve the sugar, throw in a handful of mint, mm -hmm. right? And then two dashes of Lemon bit, lemon bitters. One, two. All right. No stirring or anything required. All we're gonna do is just top it off some crust ice. Yep. From our Lewis bag. Oh. That kind of stirs it all together anyway. Yeah. With the crust ice there. So it's simple. If you've never crushed ice in a Lewis bag before, you're missing out. Uh, we do have a video on that too. So we got an instructional video you can watch. How to make your own crushed ice. Let's see, do I buy a $10,000 crushed ice machine <laughs> or a $25 bag? Or hmm. you used to be able to get these bags from uh, the bank. Oh, yeah, you can still get it from the bank. <laughs> you just make sure you really wash them out. This is how you do it. You walk in there with the ski mask down over your head. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and no. your ha have your hand in your pocket so it looks like you got a gun in your pocket. No, yep. no, you're going to get us in trouble. <laughs> um, we use a short little spoon straw in this. Mm -hmm. So uh, you're forced to get your nose right down there next to the mint. Right. And typically we would serve the elderflower julep with an edible flower, like an orchid or something. Mm -hmm. But it's January here. 
And there's nothing alive yeah, outside right no, now. There's nothing alive there's outside. There's just snow and ice everywhere. Hardly us. Hardly <laughs> us. So, of course, mint you can't kill. Uh, so, uh, we're going to use mint here in, yeah. in this instance, which is fine. That's typically how you would garnish <laughs> mint julep. So, here you have your nice, flowery, delightful elderflower julep. Enjoy. Cheers.